A very good morning, everyone. I hope you must be thinking, you know, very surprised ki why ma'am is sitting outside with the, you know, toppers at my back because I want this to be an inspiration for you people so that this batch of 12th will create a history for the school. You all should be the toppers, you know, above 90% because you all deserve it. Okay? Chalo. Anyways, uh, we'll start with the second paragraph on page number 26. Okay? Do you remember what happened? Uh, Douglas, he wanted to learn the swimming and he had joined YMCA. YMCA means the Young Men Christian Association. Okay? Uh, if you go to Delhi or if you go to any metro cities, there are two types of association. One is YWCA, that is Young Women's Cultural Association, sorry, Christian Association. And then it is YMCA, that is Young Men's Christian Association. Okay? So, uh, we'll come to the second paragraph on page number 26. So, Douglas wanted to learn swimming and he reached the pool one day very early and no instructor was there. At that time, one boy who was very stout, you know, he picked him up because he was very skinny type of a character. So, he picked him up and threw him in the water. So, what happened during just going down the water? Whatever you will read here, it is going like this, okay? Like the way he was going inside the water and the thought process which was going on in his mind, okay? I flailed at the surface of the water, swallowed and choked. I tried to bring my legs up but they hung as dead weight. Now, he was unable to move his legs even because they were like, you know, dead, right? Paralyzed and rigid. A great force was pulling me under. I screamed, but only the water heard me. I had started on the long journey back to the bottom of the pool. Now he was again back to the water, of the, back to the surface of the water in the pool. Okay? I struck at the water as I went down, expending my strength as one, of, one in a nightmare fights an irresistible force. I had lost all my breath. Now, definitely, you know, when you are drowning in the water, you lose your strength at that time, right? And he lost all his breath even. My lungs ached, you know, started aching, paining, right? He felt that as if they were paining. My lungs ached, my head throbbed, you know, the throbbing sound, throbbing. Have you ever felt, you know, your this nerve? It starts throbbing, it starts moving like this, it starts fluctuating like this, you know, like a heartbeat. You can feel it here sometimes if you are tense, your head is paining, your eyes pain at that time. And this nerve, you know, it starts throbbing. I was getting dizzy. He was feeling very sleepy, you know, at that time. But I remember the strategy. I would spring from the bottom of the pool and come like a cock to the surface. What did he think? The moment I will touch the surface and I'll bounce back. I will jump back. Okay. But I remembered the strategy. I would spr uh, spring from the bottom of the pool and come like a cock to the surface. I would be, I would lie flat on the water, strike out with my arms and thrash with my legs. He thought that he will move his hands and legs, he will be able to thrash the water. Okay, then I would get to the edge of the pool and be safe. He will reach the corner of the, he thought, you know, that thought process was going on. The way he was drowning, the moment he started drowning, all these are the thought process that the moment I will go and touch the service, I will bounce back, I will thrash my legs. You know, all these strategies he was following, the, that how will he come out, okay? I went down endlessly. I opened my eyes. Nothing but water with a yellow glow. Dark water that one could not see through. It was a dirty water. It was a yellow colorish water and it looked very dirty, right? And then sheer stark terror seized me. Terror that knows no understanding. Terror that knows no control. Terror that no one can understand. You know, when somebody is terrorized, the other cannot understand. Take care. Got it? Who has not experienced it? I was shrieking underwater. I was paralyzed underwater, stiff, rigid with fear. Even the screams in my throat were frozen. Only my heart and the pounding in my head said that I was still alive. He could feel his heart beat. Okay, it was very treacherous for him and it was very, uh, he was very terrorized. And what he wanted, the moment he was going down, he said that uh, he is not going to be safe and that terror 
uh, struck him and he felt that he was paralyzed okay and then in the mid of the terror came a touch of reason i must remember to jump when i hit the bottom at last i felt the tiles under me my toes reached out as if to grab them i jumped with everything i had the moment he touched the bottom of the pool okay and he just collected all his courage and he just wanted to bounce back out but the jump made no difference the water was still around me i looked for ropes ladders water wings nothing but water a mass of yellow water helped me stark terror took on even deeper hold on me like a great charge of electricity i shook and trembled with fright my arms wouldn't move that you know he tried to jump out but the jump made no difference and he was surrounded by water only he tried to search for ropes and ladder something to save him but there was nothing except for terror i shook and trembled with fright my uh, my arms wouldn't move my legs wouldn't move i tried to call for help to call for mother nothing happened he tried to call for mother you know if anything happens who is the first person you remember that is your mother right the sweet mother so this boy douglas also tried to call his mother because he felt he is drowning okay and nobody is there to help him out no ropes were there no ladders were there and moreover there no ins- there was no instructor and then strangely there was light i was coming out of the awful yellow water at least my eyes were my nose was almost out too then i started down a third time i stuck for air and got water the the yellowish light and way was going out again he tried that was the third time when he tried to come out and what happened it was only water water everywhere then all effort ceased i relaxed even my legs felt limp and a blackness swept over my brain what happened now when he tried to come out and he was unable to come out there was a blackness in front of his eyes okay it wiped out fear it uh, sorry it wiped out terror there were no more there was no more panic it was quite drowsy to go to sleep no need to jump too tired to jump it's nice to be carried gently to float along in space tender arms around me tender arms like mothers now i must go to sleep i crossed to oblivion and the curtain of life fell now what happened he when he was drowning two hands came to save him and they took him he says that i felt that i was in the tender hands soft hands of my like my mother's hands okay somebody came out to save him in the pool okay and then the moment he just uh, picked him up because of the terror he was dizzy okay he was totally dizzy i crossed to oblivion and the curtain of the life fell everything you know finished off in front of his eyes and he, what he felt that he is no more alive the curtain of the life fell okay the next i remember i was lying on my stomach beside the pool vomiting now what happened when he just came to his senses when he gained back his senses he was lying upside down and the pressure was continuously given to him he was vomiting with the water the chap that threw me in was saying but i was only fooling the boy who had thrown him that stout boy he said he must be getting a scolding good scolding from the instructor and he said i was just making fun you know i was just fooling him around someone said the kid nearly died be all right now let's carry him for the locker room so somebody saved him and after that that boy that stout boy also got scolding but he was safe so they picked him up and took him to the locker room is that clear till here thank you so much we'll be meeting in the next video thank you